Many businesses and investors new to the Southeast Asia region will learn that small-scale bribery can be a part of the business, but some executives find ways to minimize or evade the payments they are asked for from public officials. While traditional fraud methods like bribery, collusion and corruption decreased slightly on a global scale, according to PricewaterhouseCoopers 2016 Economic Crime Survey, the practices remain steady in the Asia-Pacific region. Overall, countries in Southeast Asia perform poorly in Transparency International's Global Corruption Perceptions Index. Other than squeaky clean Singapore, which ranks at no. 7 on the list, a majority of countries fall on the bottom half of the spectrum, with Indonesia at no. 90, Thailand and Philippines tied at no. 101, and Cambodia trailing at no. 156. Malaysia performs better on the corruption index, but the fallout of the 1MDB scandal, in which an estimated billions of dollars were allegedly laundered through the development fund, has left some investors uncertain about the country. Money moves the process in Cambodia Transparency International Cambodia extensively explored interactions between businesses and the Cambodian government in a report released last month, finding that though the country has made some progress, corruption, bribery and collusion often goes unchecked throughout the company. According to the Business Integrity Country Agenda, multinational companies in Cambodia integrate ethics and strategies into their practices to prevent bribery, but among domestic businesses, most are not in the habit of creating and maintaining anti-corruption programs, or disclosing the policies if they have them. Giving gifts, especially around major holidays like Khmer New Year, is a cultural tradition in the country, but the practice has grown into a regular part of business in Cambodia. According to the report, officials requested a gift from businesses in 59% of public transactions, and 66% of businesses had to pay a bribe to get things done. Half of Cambodian businesses surveyed by the World Bank Group had to pay bribes to get an operating license, and 87% of those seeking a construction permit had to grease the pipeline. Cambodia has been in the old traditional practice for too long, said Preep Kohl, executive director of TI Cambodia. When any professional legal framework is being introduced, it needs a lot of education, it needs a lot of awareness raising before people understand how they can participate. The country also has strong anti-corruption laws, according to the report, but few officials are doing much to get around those issues, the report said. Reach Ra, an Undersecretary of State with Cambodia's Commerce Ministry, praised the government's business integrity and anti-corruption efforts, such as creating